Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be for those of you that do FLL. Does this really bug you when you're in base and you're trying to find all your programs and it sounds like this? Uh, uh, where's this program? I don't know. Where's this program? If you're noticing that you're wasting a lot of time in base, this video is for you because I'm going to show you a way to streamline your robot's program so when it comes back to base, you're not looking for all these programs. If you want to see that, stay with me. So it's a common problem to have FLL teams waste a lot of time in base or this year, you know, the launching area. I actually will time my teams, like just hit, you know, the stopwatch. As soon as their robot comes back to base, I just want to let them know how much time they're taking in base so they can start to practice and get better at not spending so much time because, you know, the more time your robot's not out there is less points that your team is getting. So, you know, there are some tricks on having your team possibly numbering your programs, one, two, three, four, so that, you know, they're all in order. Um, but if you even want to see a better way to do this, it would be to actually utilize your touch sensor. So in a program with all of your missions, you would just press your touch sensor to activate the next mission. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like on my computer. Okay, everybody, I have my educator bot here. I have uh, two buildings set up. One's going to be, again, for that black circle. This uh, tan one's going to go into that black circle, and then we'll finish off with the elevator over there. So this is not meant to wow anybody on points. This is just to show you again that we can use this touch sensor right here to just avoid the constant clicking and scrolling through the programs to find the one we want. It'll just be a set it up and press the button to watch it go. Okay, guys, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here. Sorry, I usually um, will bust out my program that allows me to basically record off of my screen here so we don't get kind of the annoying glares or weird stuff from my laptop screen. But this is so easy, I thought I would just bypass that. And, you know, you guys can follow along. So this is the program I'm using for everything that I just showed you. So right here, this is going to basically deliver that red building to that black circle. And that gets me back to home. And there is the magic right there, is this wait block, where it's basically going to wait for me to press the button to start the next mission. So this mission right here, this is going to be that tan building to that other black circle. So basically, it's going to come back to home, wait for me to press my touch sensor, and then it will go to the you know that other black circle. Come back to home. And it will wait again for me to press the button for this program now to do the elevator. So that's basically it. So there's three missions inside of one program. And I don't have to go on my brick and keep clicking through different missions to find the one I want. Everything is right here with just a simple touch of the touch sensor to basically trigger the mission. So now let's go back to the City Shaper board and watch all of this magic happen. Okay, everybody, I have my educator bot here. It's all set up with this red building that's going to go to that black circle. This tan building is going to go to this black circle. And then we're going to finish over there with the elevator. So this is not anything to wow anybody about points. This is just, again, to show you that when the robot comes back to home and I set it up in this launch area, it's just a touch of the touch sensor to send it on its way to the next mission. And I don't have to keep clicking and scrolling through all these programs. It's just really quick. There is a downside to this. Um, you know, sometimes if you screw up on a mission, you want to run it again. That's where this is going to be tough. I would suggest having each individual program, maybe on your bricks, if you do want to run you know something again it's there in case you need it but yeah if you mess up on this one it's going to be tough to redo that mission again um, but let's go ahead and see if this is so easy i can do this with one hand because i'm holding my camera here with the other 
and um, hopefully you can see how this can be beneficial to your team. So let's check this out. Okay, here we go. Red building into that black circle. That looks good. Now we're just gonna bring this robot over here. Do have to make sure it's lined up right. And then I just press the touch sensor. No scrolling. Love that. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this ready now for the elevator. Line that up. And again, it's just a press of the button. And we are back in the home. So that's just, you know, very, very convenient that we're not scrolling. I, I see a lot of teams, they, they get real nervous. That's when they end up dropping stacks of buildings because they're just trying to get these programs, you know, looked up on their brick, um, making sure they have the right one. This one is, this one's pretty low stress. Like I said, if you mess up on one, that's where it can be stressful. Like, oh shoot, I have to stop the program and find the individual program I want to run again. But you know, if you're perfect, this is gonna look really good as far as time management in base and not having to, you know, waste a lot of time. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Um, you know, obviously I'm not asking you to overhaul all your missions. If you're just starting out, if you're maybe you know looking forward to next year or maybe a, a, a competition in the spring or something, that might be something to look into. Um, obviously, there are some downsides to it. You know, if your robot doesn't complete a mission, you know you're not able to just redo that mission. You'd have to possibly maybe have, you know, each mission broken down somewhere else on your brick to maybe run that again. Um, but, you know, for streamlined purposes, it's just bam, bam, bam. You're, it's almost like an automatic machine gun where your missions are now just firing instead of having to reload, send it off, come back, reload, and keep looking for those programs. So hopefully that helped you and, and give it a shot. You know, don't knock it until you try it. See how easy and convenient it can be. But, you know, Every team, every person has their own, you know, agenda, their own likes. And so if it's not for you, at least you know about it. Okay, guys. All right. Hopefully you're still having fun with City Shaper. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.